make sure that the whaling industry was not going to profit off of her death. So Captain Paul Watson took the helm and he took the Steve Irwin and he placed that ship exactly where it needed to be, which was between that harpoon ship and between that factory whaling ship. And what happened was a thousand tons of steel collided with a thousand tons of steel and the Japanese whaling fleet since then has always been reluctant to whale in Sea Shepherd's presence. is a very unique individual who 35 years ago started the most unique marine conservation group in the world. And because we're all part of Sea Shepherd, I think it's important to remind you of what makes us just truly unique. There's no other group around there like Sea Shepherd. Firstly, we are not a protest organization. Sea Shepherd is a law enforcement organization. We have all of these different laws in place to protect the marine environment, and yet what we are lacking is for somebody to enforce those laws. Since 1986, there has been a ban on commercial whaling. Since 1986, it has been unlawful to kill a whale, and yet Norway, Iceland, and Japan have together, in that time, killed over 25,000 whales. If you look at the way that uh, the Galapagos Islands are treated, there is a marine reserve in this area. It is one of the most precious ecosystems in the world, a diving hotspot. This is the area where Charles Darwin himself came and came up with his theory of evolution. And yet this pristine area, this World Heritage Site, is attacked on a daily basis by poaching vessels that see no value in the sharks that they kill other than the economic value of the fins that they take. So what Sea Shepherd does is we intervene when the governments of the world lack either the political will or the economic means to enforce the laws that are in place. Secondly, what we do, and this makes us unique as well from any other established environmental group, is that we measure our success by the number of lives that we save and by the number of criminal operations that we shut down. For me, every whale that we saved down in Antarctica is a victory. Last year we prevented the Japanese whaling fleet from killing 932 whales and in our nine years of campaigning down in the Antarctic we have saved over 5,000 whales. That's 5,000 whales that are swimming